The memorial gates were put up to, to remember all the soldiers and men and women who fought in the First and Second World War, who came from the Caribbean, from Bangladesh, from India, from Pakistan, from Africa. All the people who came to assist the United Kingdom from the First and Second World War from the Commonwealth came as volunteers. There were no consulates. And they came to support us and to keep the whole of the Western world free. It is poignant to point out that the recent Hollywood blockbuster, Dunkirk, failed to acknowledge the contribution of the Empire soldiers that we have seen completely airbrushed out of the British narrative, or the world narrative for that matter. It is a testimony to Lady Fleather, on whose watch these memorial gates were built. As a reminder, we also serve. The relationship has developed over that century. The five million who served uh, are descendants like me who live in this country, who have made this country their home. And our children are growing up here. Even today, in present, we have such a diverse culture within the military itself. We as Muslims, and we've got Hindus and Sikhs and all the other different religions, uh, actually get involved in, in all different aspects of the British military. So diversity is really important within the armed forces here. It's to represent the society that we live in. Uh, but more importantly, I think, we need to tap into every single community to get uh, more people to join the army. Today, we stand as proud people with a strong heritage who continue to make meaningful contributions to the rich cultural diversity of Britain. This memorial is a real demonstration of the strength of the relationship between us. Commonwealth becomes even more important that it has a role to play to educating the wider society in the UK and its 53 members to ensure that the legacy of our forefathers lives on for what they stood for, freedom, justice and fighting against tyranny. As 53 countries came together in the past, the Commonwealth is coming together again to keep our world safer, more prosperous and I hope a little happier. Have you ever wondered if serving in the British Armed Forces and being Muslim is compatible? If so, we discuss this and other things on AFMA. Please subscribe to our channel and visit our website.